So if you see me wearing like the same shirt in my videos, don't think I'm just some dirty man. I, I just, you know, sit down and review a couple of movies at a time. But before we get into this review, I just want to thank everybody that's checked out the Run Around to Hell I Come. You guys are kick-ass. If you guys want to check out a kick-ass story, check the link down in the description below. Check that shit out. So I'm excited to talk about this next movie. It's one that I kind of let slip under the radar. Well, I've seen the trailer for it. And I never went and seen it. I don't think it even got like a wide theatrical release. I'm pretty sure they showed it in some theater near me. But I watched the trailer and I was like, okay, it's got Jake Gyllenhaal in it. I'm going to watch it. I mean, that's all I need to know. That's all I need to know. If it's got Jake Gyllenhaal in it, it's being watched. It's also got Carrie Mulligan in it too, which I think I've seen her in other stuff. I can't really... I, I know I have though. I know I have. And then the kid's name, uh, like Ed or something... He's a, he's a great, he's a great kid actor, especially in this. Like, I, I don't know why, but he kind of reminds me like that one kid from The Sixth Sense, which, which I know he's older now, but it's like they don't age. You know what I mean? Like, they just, they don't age. The Wild Life is about a guy who, I don't want to say he's sorry, but he's, you know, he loses his job and he goes off and he's going to fight these wildfires. And it's in Montana, which one thing that I really did appreciate, now I'm, I'm, I'm sure they did film this in Montana, I'm, abs I'm pretty sure, um, but if they didn't film it in Montana, they picked some really good spots to film this because I went to Montana. Uh, I took a road trip, um, it was like three years ago or whatever, I went across the United States and that made me feel like I was in Montana again. Like really it did. One of the roads that they drive on, which I'm not going to say I drove down that road, I'm not, Yeah, you know, I probably didn't, but it definitely reminded me of Montana and I'm pretty sure they did film there. I should have looked it up beforehand, but if they didn't, they seriously nailed the uh, the locations for that. They either filmed it in Montana or North Dakota. It's set in Great Falls and I actually stayed the night in Great Falls and uh, my first book, I Wish I Never Knew, there's a section actually set in Great Falls. That's why I took the road trip was to see the locations for the book that I was writing. And uh, yeah, it just, I can't really say that Great Falls felt like Great Falls in the movie because I only stayed in like a hotel. So maybe they went and filmed it somewhere else. Maybe it was some other part of Great Falls. I didn't really stay in Great Falls that long, but I did stay in Montana for three days. And it, this film really did take me back. And it's just the, the locations that they chose to film at. It just, it really is awesome. Like I, I love the scene where they're in the car driving. It just, oh, it's awesome. This is Paul Dano's directorial debut. Now, uh, one thing that I did hear about uh, was the novel for Wildlife, and apparently, I don't know if it, it was kind of mixed, uh, had mixed reviews. Um, th the movie itself is not like, I mean, it's not a masterpiece, but it's still a, an amazing film. You know, and in a way, too, no, I'm going to hold that statement. I'm going to I'm gonna hold that statement. It's, it's, it's a great directorial debut. I mean, it got a criterion, directorial debut criterion, like, and Jake Gyllenhaal, I mean, Carrie Mulligan too, but Jake Gyllenhaal in this movie is just, he's, she, Carrie Mulligan's got more screen time, which makes sense uh, for the story, but Jake Gyllenhaal nails, I mean, he nails everything. I, I just, that man needs like the next big Oscar winning role, like not even a supporting actor. He needs lead, which he is a lead, the lead actor in this. Well, I don't honestly say the kid is the lead actor and then Jake Gyllenhaal is the supporting actor, but Jake Gyllenhaal man, he is a terrific actor. Like he is just, he brings magic to the screen. And overall, Wildlife is definitely worth it. Check out the Criterion. The Criterion, it's got one of the coolest Criterion covers. I seen it and I was like, okay, I can't skip out on this. There, there's another film that I'm going to be reviewing today too. It's another 2018 hidden gem that I uh, missed out on. But yeah, definitely check out Wildlife. Wildlife is definitely worth the watch. My final score is going to be a 9 out of a 10. I thought it was an amazing film. Check it out. Guys, if you guys want to follow me on my Instagram, you guys can. Links down in the description below. That's where I post all my filmmaking stuff, movie stuff, gaming stuff, book stuff. Just, you know, just all my personal and, you know, professional stuff. So, yeah, if you want to follow me on there, I'd really appreciate it. And if you guys want to check out my first ever, or not my first ever, no. if you guys want to check out The Run Around to Hell I Come, check that out. Links down in the description below. I think you guys will really enjoy it. It'd mean the world to me if you checked it out. And if you guys want to look me up on IMDb to like check out my projects and stuff like that, you can do that. And yeah, hope you guys had a great day. See you guys next time.